Hello students, my name is Professor Mohammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture we did question number 5 of exercise 9.5 and the topic you know graphs of absolute value trigonometric functions today we are going to do question number six of exercise 9.5 but before i start this question i would suggest all those students who are watching my lectures first time kindly first go to my playlist there is a folder name is admeth watch previous lectures of this exercise then you will have good command on this topic let's start question number six I did some work for you because graphs questions always takes much more time as compared to other questions so question number six is on the same grid on the same grid sketch the graphs of y is equals to absolute value sign 2x and y is equals to 10x for the domain 0 to 2 pi radian now radian is not new for you because we have done lots uh, of questions from exercise number 9.4 which are related to gradient function uh, sorry radian functions so first you can see on the screen part a what I wrote first we sketch the graph of y is equals to absolute value sin 2x so for this graph we have to make the table we, you can take any interval I take the interval of pi by 4 that is 45 degrees so 0 pi by 4 pi by 2 3 pi by 4 pi 5 pi by 4 3 pi by 2 7 pi by 4 and 2 pi now take your scientific calculator write down sine 2 2 into 0 sine 2 into 0 is 0 sine 0 is 0 then sine 2 into pi by 4 you will get 1 sine 2 into pi by 2 you will get 0 and so on till sine 2 into 2 pi you will get 0 so this is the table of y is equals to sine 2x but keep in mind we will draw the graph of sine absolute value 2x how to draw I will show you later then we sketch the graph of y is equals to 10x Th that is second function so for 10x I took 60 degree intervals because uh, from 0 to 2 by there are two asymptotes one occur at pi by 2 asymptote means the angle the values of the angle where the graph is undefined at pi by 2 and th at 3 pi by 2 so I took pi by 3 interval pi by 3 2 pi by 3 uh, then pi then 4 pi by 3 then 5 pi by 3 and 2 pi along with pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 so for your scientific calculator 10 0 is 0 10 pi by 3 is 1.7 10 pi by 2 is undefined that is asymptote and so on now plot points one by one first we have to sketch the graph of y is equals to sin 2x so first value when x is 0 then y is 0 this is the first value when x is pi by 4 then y is 1 second value when x is pi by 2 then value is 0 when x is 3 pi by 4 then value is minus 1 but because we are drawing the graph of absolute valued function so this minus 1 should be plus 1 so for 3 pi by 4 the value is 1 not minus 1 then 5 pi by 4 the value is 1 ok sorry then pi is 0 then 5 pi by 4 the value is 1 then 3 pi by 2 the value is 0 
then 7 pi by 4 the value is minus 1 but it should be plus 1 and then 2 pi the value is 0 so all those points which are below x axis should be reflect to positive x axis join these points It looks like mountain because there is no value which are below x axis. So, this is the graph of y is equals to y is equals to sine 2x absolute value. Now we are going to draw the graph of y is equals to 10x. So for 0, the value is 0. This is the first value. For pi by 3, the value is 1.7. This is pi by 3, this is 1, this is 1.5, this should be 1.7. This is the second value. For pi by 2, there is an asymptote. So we have to draw a dotted line this is the asymptote after pi by 2 2 pi by 3 2 pi by 3 is minus 1.7 so this is minus 1 this is 1.5 this is 1.73 minus 1.73 for pi the value is 0 4 pi by 3 1.73 for 3 pi by 2 the there is an asymptote Here we go. This is the asymptote. For 5 pi by 3, the value is minus 1.73. So 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, 1, 2, 3. This is minus 1.73. And for 2 pi, the value is 0. Now join all the points. First point. Second point. This is the graph of 10x. This is the the blue one is the graph of y is equals to 10x. So for black, the graph of y is equals to uh, sine 2x. And for blue, the graph is y is equals to 10x. Now, see the next part, part b. State the number of roots of the equation sine 2x is equals to 10x for 0 to 2 pi. See how many points where two curves are, are cuts each other. See point number 1, this one. Point number 2, this one. Point number 3 this one point number four this one point number five this one so for part b 
number of solutions are 5 and this is our final answer so hope you completely understand question number 6 a very interesting and very important question according to examination point of view So this is our today's class where we did question number 6 if you have any problem which is related to this question or previous question kindly write in comment box I will help you. After this question how many questions are left only 3 questions 7, 8 and 9 no issue I will do all remaining questions as soon as possible so students if you like today's video today's lecture kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when I upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos to all your friends as many as you can okay students good luck for next lecture